Hello everyone, I'm your host, Boss Zombie. Welcome back to Fallout 3. How may I serve you, Master? You can. Really now, you may notice I'm standing in front of a workbench instead of my normal Megaton Doors approach to starting an episode for quest stuff. That's because I now have the level 3 schematic for nuclear grenades. With the gun type schematics, basically having more advanced schematics just makes it in better condition when you make it. But for the nuka grenade and the bottle cap mine, having level 3 makes so instead of making one of each, you make two, or if you have the level 3, level 3 of each. So I can do this, and I should have in my weapons three nuka grenades. Those things hurt. So I'm going to just make a bunch. Okay, I think, yep, okay. So I now have... 225 nuclear grenades. Let's put most of those away. I don't need that many. Keep. I'll keep two. I'll keep 25 on me. Just in case. And. That's hot bar. What do I have equipped? Okay. Oh, and. I think. I can get dog meat puppy now. It should be mega t uh, ball. There's actually an advantage of the puppies over dog meat normally is that they have 500 more base health, I believe. Hello. Come on, pup, let's go. Are they a li is he a little smaller than dog meat? He's also stuck in the floor. Alright, on to the actual quest. I think I need to go to Canterbury Commons. Boy, those messages need to go away. 75 weapons created. Uh, oh! There's some traders now. Yeah, the traders have a problem. They walk, like, straight through dangerous territory. Enclave, super mutants. I might have mentioned that already. I think that's actually Canterbury up there. Oh my god, those messages are going to be there the whole window. Or a whole game, huh? See how long it takes for those to go away. I should... Move my gun out. What's that? Oh, it's a death claw. Oh, he sees me. you killing? Oh, it's just a sentry robot. I'll take it. Okay, those messages are going to be annoying. Let's just real quick. There we go. Something's happening. Oh, right. Tremble before the might of the antagonizer. You'll never get away with terrorizing this town. Not while it's under the protection of the mechanist. You and your pathetic tin cans are no match for my army. <laughs> the citizens of this town have nothing to fear. The mechanist is here to protect them. Ha! We'll see about that. Attack my ant soldiers. Destroy this fool and his tin toys. Go forth, my steadfast creation. Go be true power. Yeah, that didn't seem like a very fair fight. Humans may be weak sometimes, but our creations are strong and good. 
something you'll never be. Fool! Humanity's creations were the seeds of their undoing. And now, the world will belong to the antagonizer. What? Are you all right? You aren't hurt, are you? I'd like to apologize for the rude welcome. Those two have been a bit of a problem lately. Name's Roe. Uncle Roe to most. Welcome to Canterbury Commons. For what that's worth. What was that? The, um, mechanist and the ant agonizer. That's just what they call themselves. It's ridiculous, I know. A while ago, we were attacked by the ant agonizer, that woman with the ants, obviously. The mechanist saved the town with his robots. Well, that was all well and good, but I swear their fights are getting bigger, and it's been driving off the merchants. They simply won't leave. I might be able to help. Oh, that's terrific. I knew you'd help out. Knew it in my gut, and it's never steered me wrong on a deal yet. Find where the ant agonizer and the mechanist hide and convince them to stop or otherwise end their hostility, and you'll earn 200 caps. You only need to stop one of them, really. Nowadays, I think they only stay in Canterbury to fight each other. Double that, you got yourself a deal. Mm, you drive a hard bargain, friend. But seeing how we haven't been able to solve the problem ourselves, fine. You've got a deal. But I expect results. Oh, and please do try to use some discretion. We already have plenty of would-be heroes starting wars in our streets. We don't need another. Okay. Anything to trade around? Oh, I can talk to you about the you caravans. You can usually find one of the trade caravans at the entrance to town. They come through every day or two. Other than them, Porter's always got food for sale down at the diner. Uh... Ha! Damn near everything, I suspect. I found it the place myself, and I'm the reason this place stays fat and happy. Why do they trade? How organized are the traders? They're just small caravans that make rounds through the wastes, hawking their wares from Paradise Falls to Rivet City. They won't trade with anyone who's hit their friends, but that's about as organized as they get. Have you thought about organizing into a unified group? I had thought about it, but some of these wasteland traders, well, they aren't exactly the organizational type. It'd take a pretty savvy businessman to make it worth their while to work together. Frankly, I'm not sure even I'm up to the task. Uh, working together could allow specialization for sales. Hmm, I think you're right. And the specialization might play to their eccentricities. It could work. And I could act as their representative in this matter. Goodness knows I've known them for years, so I should be able to speak for them. Just let me know what you suggest in the way of specialties, and I'll let them know to focus on that area. Well, let's talk about weapons. Then you'd be looking for Lucky Harith, adventurer. Okay, I know all this. Expand his inventory. Harith's got quite a lot of weapons. Investment. More investment. He can't... Okay. Armors. Our man Crow Ham... Crow. Expand inventory. Money. More money. Expand more. Okay. Uh, food and chems. Ah, then you'll be wanting Doc Hoff. Or the good... He... Expand his inventory. Money! More money! Can't expand anymore. And miscellaneous. That'd be Crazy Wolfgang. He does repairs and general supplies, but he prefers to call himself a junk dealer. As he says, he's over... Okay. Money! Even more money! Okay. Let's go deal with these superheroes. So I know one of them is to the south. One of them is to the north. Let's go north first. It seems to be closer. Oh, it's super close. What's this? Oh, wait. I remember this. I think there's a back entrance. That'll save a lot of time. Oh, the caravan guard is unconscious. That's because I made them essential, so... They're somewhere in the near territory fighting something. Where's this entrance? Maybe it's on top of the hill? Aha! I think I read about a character called the Ant Agonizer when I was in the comic book 
building. Huber's Comics, something like that? This looks like this is where she lives. Oh, hello. So at last, you've penetrated the court of the antagonizer, queen of all ants. Were you sent by that meddling mechanist? He'll learn that no one can stand before my royal regimen of fighting ants. Explain yourself. Why shouldn't I have my pretties kill you where you stand? Uh, uh, give up and you won't get hurt. Ha-ha! <laughs> you would walk here and presume to command me? Humanity's time has come to an end. Your kind died because it knew only petty bickering and wars. But not so, the noble ant. It works with its brethren, knowing only loyalty and duty. And this is why they have grown, while humanity crumbled. Once I've finished with that pathetic mechanist, I will be free to spread my colonies across the wastes. Uh, that's a s that's an antagonist from comic, didn't you? What? No! No children's book could possibly capture the true depth of the antagonizer. I read the antagonizer was an orphan girl who could still be redeemed. You, you really believe that? When I read that comic, it explained so much. Where I came from, who I was destined to be, what I had to do. But it never said the antagonizer could ever have a chance to go back to being normal. It never said I had a chance. Please, I, I think I've made some terrible mistakes. If you really think I still have a chance, just let me go. I'll give you the suit. No one ever has to see the antagonizer again. Just please, let me have another chance. Certainly. Good luck. Thank you. I, I don't know how I can just thank you. Hey. Oh, Crow's pack. Okay, so Crow is under attack somewhere in the near vicinity. Yeah, he'll be fine. We should be mindful. Okay. So that's the antagonize. Antag. And tag. Can I get up this cliff? I wonder where he is out there. Oh well. So that's the antagonizer, I think. It's the same thing with the mechanist. He has a shortcut out of his. God, right next to the town, huh? Oh! What the heck? What happened out here? Are these the mechanist's robots? That's Crow. They sorted out the problem. Oh, it was an albino, that's why. Oh, you guys handled that well. Um, I hope the mechanist like wasn't out here. That would be unfortunate. Actually, you know what? Dog meat. You can help me figure out if he's out here. Find me ammo. Where are we going? Oh, she died. Hey. What's the big idea? Now where are we going, boy? He wouldn't be all the way out here. I like that instead of saying boy, it just says pup. Okay. So she died. That's unfortunate. So the mechanist, I think, his place is right up here.
this is probably his lair. Robot Repair Center. Yeah, if I was someone called the Mechanist, I'd be here probably. Let's see if there's a back entrance. Be a shortcut inside then. That's his door. Oh, this must be the shortcut. safe. Oh, secondary encryption key, huh? Shut down turrets. Pulse explosion. Oh, I think I just blew up all the robots. Oh. Forge it is. Book. Oh. I guess he followed me from the previous area. Please don't take this for you. else want to come through that door? I guess I didn't blow up all the robots. What? Now people are now. Oh! What's this? It's like get smart. Well done! You have defeated the vile antagonizer, and you've brought back her suit so that we may destroy the last taint of her villainy. Hand it to me, and I'll make sure that no one else can ever bear the mantle of the foul antagonizer. First talk about what you've been doing. Quickly then. Evil never pauses to contemplate its actions, so I see little reason that we should either. The fighting is causing more trouble for town than the antagonizer ever did. Is is that true? Have I really become a bigger problem for the town than her? Am I really the villain here? Does this mean I should stop myself? I... I guess I could just give up my suit and stop being the mechanist. But I couldn't face the town after causing that much trouble. Here, please, take the suit. I don't want to think about it anymore. Okay. I saw lots of scrap, I can take that for later. Ooh. Ammo. Hey, you have a nuka grenade. Interesting. And away we go.
Did you just blow up your robots? I think it's because he has a really good gun. Why do you blow up his robots though? Sounded like robot -y explosions. Our steps must be measured. How about you, buddy? No, you're broken. You? Oh, you work. This isn't the main entrance. Wow, I could have just gone straight ahead, huh? This is so close it's even considered Canterbury Commons. So what are you gonna do now, fella? I'm sorry. Just leave me alone. I've got a lot to think about. So these must have been his sentries. Well, there was two here. Oh, crow. Actually. And here you are. The spirits have blessed me with many gifts, but you have given the more marketable gift of monetary investment. Please accept this offering. A mask and helmet made from the hide of the wisest spirits of the wind. May it benefit you as fully as it has myself. Oh. What do you have now? If the clothes make the man, then here are the means to remake yourself. Okay, bye. Walk well, friend. I am curious what the mechanist hey. is going to do now. I didn't even have to use any grenades. What are you doing? With all of that fighting, I never did get to give you the official welcome to the town, did I? Welcome to Canterbury Commons, home of traders, caravanners, and most of all, of excellent bargains. Here for business or pleasure? I'm all business. Damn near all of them, depending on which caravans in town. Guns, armor, food, junk. Pretty much everyone swings by the old circle eventually. Everyone but slavers, that is. It's a hassle to transport their wares, as they say. Just as well, eh? Anything else I can do to welcome you to town? I took care of both of them. That's grand. I do believe it's fair to say you've saved Canterbury. And unlike that mechanist, you did so with significantly less stress all around. Now, I do believe this is our agreed-upon payment for your fine services rendered, and a little bonus as a special thank you. Okay, cool. Later. All right, so that's it for that quest. Doing good, I'm getting these one per episode. So thanks for joining me. Come back, I'll have the next stuff up real soon. But until then, bye.